Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey! Because I actually have had a few new subscribers over the past while. In today's video, I'm doing a tutorial on this look and just talking you, how, talking you through how to do it. So it's just a very like blown out, soft glam. Don't really know how to describe it, but yeah. If you just want to see how to do this, then just keep watching. Oh my god, that is so nice. There's actually nothing nicer than Coke Zero. I'm gonna do one eye on camera, one eye off camera, just to speed up the process. Cause I don't want to take too long. Right, I'm going in with the Patty McGurgan number nine brush. It's safe to say this is my favorite big, like fluffy blending brush. It's unreal for putting on like transition shades and stuff. I'm going in with the P. Louise Secret Center palette. This is what it looks like. I never really use any of the colorful shades. The only shades I use, I can't hold this up, it's too big and heavy. The only shades I would really use are these three like brownie kind of colors down the corner. But I'm starting off in the center with this big brush and I'm just doing like a wee dot. Like that. And then I'm gonna start blending it through my crease. So I'm placing it down and then I'm blending. I'm just taking wee bits at a time and building it up. And to start off, I'm doing it in a rounded shape because if you go in and just start winging it out straight away, like it's more than likely not going to end the best because you don't want to put too much product out here. You just want it to like softly blend into your foundation a lot. And I did bring the Peter Lee's base out a wee bit more than usual. I'm bringing it right up to the brow on the inner corner. And then now that all the product is blended, I'm gonna start bringing whatever's left on the brush out towards my temple, is that what it's called? And don't be afraid to bring it right up to your brow bone. Sometimes I do that and then go in with like a uh, brow bone highlight. I like bringing my shoulder quite high up so you can see it when you like look straight ahead. And then I'm going in with a wee LMD brush. All the numbers are fading off this. It's an LMD number three brush. So it's just like that. It's a wee thin, like fluffy brush. So I'm going in with Obsession. So it's like the medium shade. Starting in the crease. Doing the same technique that I done the last time, but just a wee bit lower. And I'm being really, really light handed with these shadows because that's when you get the best blend, is when you're really light handed. I was lying on my bed watching Disney Plus, I got it last night. And then Emily, I actually love it by the way. If you haven't got it, it's actually, it's so good. But my problem is I can't stay on the one thing for like more than about 10 minutes because I want to go on to other things. I watched Hannah Montana the movie last night and now I'm watching like the series thing you know like all the different episodes and what else did I watch? This morning I watched Moana for the first time. I have wanted to watch it for ages like from a came out and I forgot all about it to be honest. But then whenever I got Disney Plus I started watching it or I watched it this morning and it's so good. It's such a good movie. But yeah so I was lying in bed watching that and then Emily Callum if you don't subscribe to her on YouTube, do, she's unreal. I love her. Yeah, so she uploaded a new video and it was about starting a YouTube channel. And I watched it and I was like, right, I need to get up off my ass and actually go make a video. Like, I have no excuses now with not being at school and just being in the house the whole time. So I'm gonna try and get as many videos up as I can, maybe one every other day. I love these eyeshadows. They're blending so nice into each other. Then for the last shade, I'm going in with a wee small, this is just a wee MSQ brush. Um, it's a wee tiny blending brush and I'm using the shade Love Struck. So I'm focusing this more on the outer corner. I'm kind of packing it and blending it. Packing and blending. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could just round it off 
but I'm just blowing it out and doing something different. Now I'm gonna go in with my Helen E eyeshadow base. You can use concealer, you can use anything. I'm just using this because I never use it. They actually sent me this in PR um, a good while ago and it's so like silky or something. So I'm starting at my lash line and just packing it on a wee bit. And then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and blend that out. So I'm taking another Patty McGurgan brush. This is the number eight blending brush. And I'm just gonna pot this. And I'm not doing a structured cut crease here. So I'm just patting this with the big fluffy brush. Is that focusing? I'm just patting it with the fluffy brush and then blending the edges out like that until it's really blended seamlessly. Then I'm going in with the Pee Louise pigment in the shade, or in Gold Digger. So it's like a rose gold mixed with like a yellow gold. It's so nice, I use this on clients all the time, like whenever they want kind of rose gold. Um, it's such a nice shade, putting that literally everywhere. And then maybe smoke out the black. This was meant to be like a soft look. No, that's not happening. I love that. I put on lashes. The lashes I'm using literally were in one of my makeup drawers. And I just picked them up because I try to like reuse lashes as many times as I can. Because obviously like I'm not going anywhere. So it would be pretty pointless in putting on a brand new pair of lashes just to sit in my room. Um, so these wee ones are probably off eBay and on me because that's where I get all my lashes. I always just look, hold my mirror down here. Look down into the mirror. Set the lash right on top of my lash line. So like it's literally on top of my lashes and then stick it down in all the corners. All the corners, just two corners. So that is the lash stuck on. I'm gonna go off camera and do this eye and then I'll be back to do the base. So the eyes are done and I've zoomed you out a wee bit and I'm gonna start my base. I'm gonna start off with an illuminating primer, just a wee tiny bit and buff it into my skin. This one is Makeup Tellia FLV. This is the one I always use and I used it in my last video I think. So I'm just using a big fluffy brush and blending this in. Then I'm going to use a mixture of these two foundations. So I'm mixing Huda Beauty foundation and Maybelline Superstay in Fawn and the Huda Beauty one is in Tres Leches. I have a fresh tan on so I can use a darker foundation. This is actually a wee bit lighter but Obviously I'm going to be going in with my bronzer and all that. And then I'm going to take a Kabuki brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number 3 brush. I'm just going to pat this into my skin. I prefer patting it in. You know this all by now but it just gives you a better finish I think. I actually shaved my face yesterday um, with the way like face razors. So I'm hoping that my makeup goes on more flawless today. Supposedly it's meant to, like it's meant to make your base really flawless when you do your makeup. So we'll soon find out. I just need one more pump of foundation for my forehead. For concealer, I'm actually gonna use my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. If you like quite heavy coverage, um, this is good, but if you don't, and if you don't like anything too thick under the eyes or whatever, I wouldn't recommend this because it's very, very thick. Obviously it is an eyeshadow base, but you can use it as a concealer. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and starting to pat that on. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. I'm gonna use this wee one. 
and I'm gonna just pat that all out and make sure it's nice and blended in with the foundation. Uh, if your under eyes are very light and your foundation's dark, you might need to go in with your foundation brush again to blend it. So that's what I always do anyway. And then we're gonna cream contour. I'm trying to fix my hair so that it looks okay. Then I'm gonna use my 4AM foundation stick in the shade Fudge for cream contour. So I'm just gonna draw this on my face like that. And then I am gonna take, where's the wee brush I use? I'm gonna take this wee tiny blending brush and I'm gonna to start to pat this into the skin. And if you want to, you can keep building that up until you're happy, but I'm just gonna do a wee bit and then go in with my powder contour or powder bronzer. Then, like always, I'm just running a wee bit down the side, well, down my nose, um, so that it all blends in. Then, if you want, you can do a wee bit in your forehead. I'm just gonna do two lines like that. and start to blend it in. That's what it's looking like. Ignore my hair, like I don't know what's going on. The powder I'm using is Airspun. Um, some people don't like it, some people love it. I don't mind it. I'm using the OEL, or no, this is a Patty Gergen number 18 brush. I'm just patting this under my eyes. I'm bringing it right out and down the side of my nose and just anywhere where you feel you need the powder. Now that I'm all set I'm going to go in with my bronzer. My favourite and like it'll be my favourite forever is the Patty McGurgan number 6 brush. This is just a big massive fan brush and it's perfect for doing your bronzer because it just does it so quickly and blends it out so seamlessly. The bronzer I'm gonna use is that Revolution one again that I used in my other video. Literally just putting a good bit in my brush and bronzing loads. I love bronzer. And then under my lip and a wee bit on my nose. All right, so that's what it's looking like so far. And then I'm gonna take just a wee small brush like this one and a wee bit of blusher. This blusher is the Milani Luminoso. I think it's 05. Yeah, it's the Milani 05 blusher. This one is unreal. It's my all time favourite. So good. And now I'm going to go in with this Helene Loose Highlighter. It's in the shade Malibu. So it's like a really nice, like peachy shade. And I'm just going to use it, looks mental in there, but it's so nice. And then my favourite place for highlighter is the tip of my nose. And in here, that's where I like the most, like I layer it up in here, like it's just so nice. I like focus it mostly on the centre of my face and to do this I'm using a SK01 brush from the Sosu and Kaylee collection. That's literally my base done, now I'm going to do brows. I have been loving the soap brow trend so I'm literally just using this big bar of soap and I put normal water in this sweet setting spray thing and you literally just do one or two sprays on the thing, not too much. And you take a spoolie, swirl it around a wee bit, get a good bit of soap on the spoolie and then you just brush it through your brows. Um, this just makes them really, really fluffy. And that's the way I have been loving mine recently. And you can use any soap. Wouldn't recommend using your death hall one or something now because you might get killed because you can't get any soap at the minute. I love this. At the start, I hated it. I was like, why is everyone wanting their eyebrows to look like friggin' 
brushes, but now I understand. I should have done this first and I realised that, but I'm using the Jamco brow gel and just brushing this through to give them a wee bit of colour. I'm gonna go back in the soap after this actually, because it's just moosome. And this just sticks your eyebrows flat to your face like they're not moving. Right, I'm sorry if this eyelash has been sticking up for most of this video. Right, I'm hoping that stays. Right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my lower lash line. I'm just gonna use black gel liner and all the shades that I used on top and smoke them out underneath and then I'm gonna come back, do lips and finish the look. Or finish the video. Every time I film now and take a break, I watch a YouTuber, like a YouTube video, the one I'm using, or I can't, I actually cannot form a sentence, I can't, I just can't do it. Um, the video I'm watching at the minute is Jamie Genevieve's new video, The Full Face of New Makeup. I'm using my favourite lip liner, I've started using this again recently and I'm starting to sound like I have a cold and it's disgusting. I started using it again recently, it's the Primark Spice lip liner. So I'm gonna try not overline my lips too much. I always have like I'm in such a bad habit of like really overlining my lips and sometimes it looks nice and sometimes it doesn't. So that's the lip liner done. This is the look. No I'm joking. I need to do um, lipstick. I am probably gonna use my concealer again. I'm gonna use a darker concealer. It's the first one that I lifted. That's the, the Revolution concealer in C12.5. And I like it. Should I keep it matte? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go matte today. Who said we're not gonna overline our lips? Not me. Um, I always overline them like, so it's fine. So this is the finished look. It's very blown out, very soft, but like still glam at the same time. Like it's quite dramatic, but like really blended and really soft because it's blended if you know what I mean. If you get me. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there's going to be loads more videos over the next few weeks and obviously if you have any requests or suggestions of videos that you want makeup or non makeup related let me know and that is the end of the video bye